What's good, YouTube? It's a Terry with another video. We got the boys in the back here. There's two of my teammates and Blaze. And then there's Alan right here, too. Yeah, he's playing NAL. So today we have a game against Western United uh, Pioneers. And then we have two games after that on Saturday and Sunday for the tournament. Because we're playing in the NEFC Thanksgiving tournament. It's the first game with, like, the new club. And all the games should get recorded. So uh, I'm really excited to see how it turns out. But, yeah, I'm, I'm going to let you guys enjoy the video. Uh, thank you guys for 1.7k subs. We hit it, like, a couple days ago. Uh, by now, we'll be getting close to, like, 1.8k. So I really thank you guys for that. Um, so, yeah, uh, make sure to like, subscribe, turn on post notifications. We're excited for the video. And apart from that, I'm going to just let you guys enjoy this video.
Okay, guys, so it was a very convincing 5 0 win, which is very good to see. And now I'm just gonna quickly run through the stats. So, for the total distance, I got 5.71, which was only 0 0.04 away from the pro benchmark, which is very good to see. For the next stat, you can see the heat map here. And when I play fullback, I try to make as many overlapping runs as I can make and you can definitely see that with this heat map as i'm both in my defensive third and in the offensive third a little bit and then with this next one it's just the same thing but you can see i'm predominantly in the midfield area because that's just because we dominated possession so i was able to be at the halfway yard line or even higher and then for this stat distance per minute i was only one yard um away from the pro benchmark and now we have the max speed 17.5 miles per hour isn't anything crazy because i wasn't able to get those runs when you're tracking back the winger for sprints we have 17 sprints that's quite a decent amount of sprints so that's good to see you can definitely see how the second half more of the sprints are more defensive and that's just because we just didn't do much offensively in the second half compared to the first half okay guys so this is the day after you guys just saw the recap we won 5-0 um they weren't the best it wasn't the best team and I kind of thought we were decent coming in, but I was wrong. But we played good ourselves too, so we did our job. One five nil, and I picked them up. So that was really cool to see. And um, so yeah, now we're going to our second game. This is Saturday, November twenty fifth, I believe. So um, yeah, we're playing against Liverpool FC, and this should be a more competitive game. So. Um, I'm, I'm intrigued, so I'm intrigued to see how this game turns out, but uh, hopefully you guys enjoy the video so far, and yeah, I'm going to just let you guys enjoy the video, and yeah, I'll see you guys in a bit. guys so we did end up losing two to one we were the better team for the most part of this game but we just lost due to two defensive errors which happens as part of the game so you can only move on to the next game so in this game i did end up not starting but i got subbed on 10 minutes into the game 
and so I played a total of I think 75 minutes in this game I'm just gonna quickly run through the stats real quick for the total distance I got 4.04 miles and then for the heat map you can see again I'm getting I'm trying my best to get up and down the pitch this game I didn't get as high as compared to the last game but um I didn't do too bad in, in that aspect and I got 99 distance per minute which isn't bad and then 19.06 miles per hour which is two miles better than yesterday which is good and then today I had the exact same amount of sprints as I think I had last game 17 which isn't bad so overall not a bad performance by me um, I could have done better but not a horrible game